back everyone in this week's caring for our kids you know there are a few things worse than a child with a fever especially in the middle of the night you worry about it you lose sleep over it but there's no reason for fever phobia uh, joining us now with more from children's hospital is dr shannon cohen to kind of debunk some common myths about fever first of all welcome thank Good you to see you again and what are some of those myths so one of the common myths is it, if, if your child has a high fever that it must be a serious cause. Right. So just because the height of the fever doesn't really tell us anything about the cause of the fever. Interesting. Okay, I always thought that. So this leads to the next question, are all fevers bad for children? So the fever is um, the body's way of turning on the immune system mm -hmm. and fighting infection. So fevers are actually a good thing, meaning your body's doing the right thing and fighting an infection like it should. All right. but. How high is too high? So um, a, the height of the fever um, doesn't really tell us whether it could be a bacteria or a virus. And it also, mm. you know, doesn't um, tell us any specific details about it. So, you know, very minor illnesses can mm -hmm. cause high fevers and very mild, um, mild illnesses can cause low fever. So really, um, it's what's causing the fever that can cause the problem. You're looking at the other symptoms as right. well, obviously. Exactly, not just the fever. Right, okay, gotcha. Uh, so we talk about treating fevers. Do you let it go? Do you not? When do you know? So most <clears throat> um, fevers are treated because they make the child uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So if it's around 100, 101, you can just do some symptomatic treatment for that, like with some fluids, <clears throat> light clothing, make the child comfortable. Right. If it's getting high to where they feel uncomfortable, you could do fever reducers, such okay. as acetaminophen or ibuprofen <clears throat> over the counter. And what about breaking the fever? We always hear people say, oh, I put a cloth on their head and, and try to get that, to break that fever. Right. Is that a myth? So, yes, I mean, whether <clears throat> you can get a fever to come down or not doesn't tell us, again, anything about the source or the infection. Okay. So just because you can't get it to come down, there could be a variety of reasons. And most of the time, it's because not enough fever reducer was given. Okay, there you go. And, and fever, so the, the, the point here, fever in, is not in and of itself the illness. Correct. And a lot of people do think that still. All right. And, uh, you know, when do we need to take our child to the doctor? When do we need to come see you? So any infant under the age of three months who mm -hmm. has a fever, and then we define that in that age group as above 100.4. Okay. They need to be evaluated. No questions, no exceptions. 100.4. 100.4 and under three months of okay. age. They need to come either to their doctor or to the emergency room for okay. further evaluation. Older kids, things mm -hmm. that you need to worry about are stiff neck and headache accompanied yes. with fever, because that can indicate meningitis, right. or persistent vomiting and diarrhea with fever can be mm -hmm. concerning, or just any unexplained fever going beyond five days. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lots to learn and remember, and we appreciate it. We All right. And a reminder, if you have a question about your child's health, you can email me at ltuckerwate.com, and be sure to tune in every Thursday here on WATE 6 on your side news at around 4.30, sometimes a little bit after, to see if we use your question on the air. Bo?